Final Frontier. How many times have you heard those words before? Well, over the last 50 years, many, because Star Trek has been celebrated and played around the world for 50 years, and this is the 50th anniversary celebration of Star Trek, and we go behind the scenes at the Javits Center in New York City to celebrate Star Trek in today's show. We go to the Javits Center, and there's some incredible stuff uh, on ahead. We're going to go to Ticonderoga, New York, where you can go to StarTrekTour.com and you can actually go on the set of the USS Enterprise, NCC-1701 for the Star Trek people out there, and be transported to the deck as it existed in a, in a replica in the original series. We're going to also talk to Thomas Barry, who is the museum curator at the Intrepid Museum over on the west side of New York, and they have a Star Trek exhibit. So you can go participate in Starfleet Academy. We're going to meet a real NASA rocket scientist, Dr. Lisa V. Quintana, whose, whose job, the coolest job ever, is to discover planets. And she has discovered a planet. She's going to talk about her discovery of Kepler-186F. And I did ask the question, what about B, C, D, and E? They're all out there. Also, most importantly, Walter Koenig, who played Pavel Chekhov, will be on the show in his speech dedicating the Star Trek Forever postage stamp accompanied by a number of other dignitaries, including the United States Postmaster General. So we have an incredible show. For all those who love Star Trek, we hope this is going to be a delightful episode. Catch it right now. Greetings, everyone. This is Richard Salman. Welcome to Taking Care of Business. Today we're at the Javits Center on location for the Star Trek show. So let's get started. All right, welcome to Star Trek. And our first guest is Carl from the post office. So I understand we have a very interesting post office event taking place today. Yep, there is the uh, first day of issue ceremony for the Star Trek commemorative stamps. Today is the first day. All right, has, have there ever been any Star Trek stamps before today? In the United States, no. Oh, so this is a big deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, and, it is. And what kind of stamps are we looking at? You know, could you describe them for our radio audience? It, it is basically four different stamps. Um, they all have four different images. You really have to see them. It's it's kind of pretty cool artwork on them. Um, there's an outline of the Enterprise, uh, an image of a person on a transporter pad, uh, an image of the Enterprise uh, in orbit, and the other one I can't recall at this time. But right. but they all are, are actually pretty striking. Right. So you have I, I saw. You have a, a little setup down there? Yes. Right. And so the whole post office is here. you got plenty of stamps in the whole bit? Plenty of stamps. Uh, they're available on the, uh, on the floor in the, uh, I think that's the North Hall. Um, and, and, and will you stamp them with the, you know, the first, first day, day of issue? Yeah. First day of issue, because yeah. I, I know a lot of people collect stamps. I know that's like the big deal is you got to get it stamped. It's like in a postcard or how do they, what's the format that you get it so it's stamped? Um, you get like an envelope? On an envelope, yes. Okay. And it'll be stamped first day of issue right here today. Um, The ceremony's at 12 Uh, o'clock. Is the Postmaster General coming? She is going to be here. All right. (laughs) Um, I I believe uh, Walter Koenig, the original Mr. Chekhov, will be in the ceremony as well. Oh, wow. That'll be very cool. I'll I'll look for you at 12 o'clock then. All right. Thank you. I'm Richard Solomon. I'm hey, from Richard. Taking Care of Business on WCWP. So this is an incredible show. Tell, tell me a little bit about your participation in the show and what, what we can look forward to for the next three days. Sure. So uh, I'm the senior producer of content for Read Pop, and we're the company that puts on New York Comic Con, Star Wars Celebration, a lot of pop culture shows. So we've partnered with CBS to create uh, Star Trek Mission New York, which is the first of hopefully many uh, Star Trek conventions that we're going to be doing. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's three days full of autographs with everyone from William Shatner and the 
uh, cast the next generation and Voyager. Uh, we have a lot of panels. We've partnered with NASA and the Smithsonian Channel uh, and the U.S. Postal Service, of, of all people. I actually interviewed them already, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're doing their stamps, uh, and they're going to hold an event with Walter Koenig. Um, so, yeah, it's really three days full of everything that a Star Trek fan could want. From a behind-the-scenes point of view, what did you have to do to gear up for this? Because, you know, these things just don't beam into existence. How many, how many months do you have to start in advance, and what's the, the logistics and the yeah. prep and the planning? So we've probably been working on this for four or five months. So it, it really, you know... It shows the, it, by the way. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Well organized and everything. Yeah, as soon as the contracts were signed, we, we got to work, and we have a content team. We have different teams that handle different areas of the show, uh, logistics, ops, all that things. And so it all kind of came together for this show. So. So when, were you, when were you bitten by the Star Trek bug yourself? Because you, you have to have an enthusiasm to be able to put yeah. this all together. So I, I, as a kid in the early 80s, I, my uncle got me into Star Trek. And all we had was the original series and the animated series. Right. So those were kind of where I started. And then when Next Generation started, uh, I was in junior high. So I got hooked on that. And then all the way, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Enterprise. So, but it started with the original series. Now, what are you looking forward to, to actually doing at the show as, a, as an attendee, attendee, as opposed to a creator? So I would say one of the coolest things that we have is the video game publisher Ubisoft has a virtual reality Star Trek game called Bridge Crew. And you, you can play with, four other, with three other people, put on the VR goggles, and it's like you're on the bridge of, the inter, uh, of a starship, uh, you know, Federation starship. Right. So. I admit, when I got my press credentials, you, know, you, you put in a request. And I've done a lot of things at the Javits Center, but this is yeah. the first time it said, your credentials are being reviewed by Starfleet Command. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I, I thought that was great. I really thought that was hilarious. We, we definitely try to uh, uh, Star Trek it up as much as possible. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So if people want information, uh, where to go, what to do, what do they do? So go to StarTrekMissions.com uh, and come down to Javits. We have tickets available for all three days. And so, yeah, this is going to be the place to go. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm with Allison. And Allison helps make people dressed in Star Trek attire, I guess, right? Yes, you could say that. All right, so how does this work? So let's say I want to look like Picard. You would buy a Simplicity pattern, and right. you can sew it at home yourself. All right, and then and you have all the different stuff, like, you know, Deep Space Nine, the original series, all the stuff? We have original series in yeah. Next Generation. Okay. And we have the Wrath of Khan jacket, and we're planning to add more. See, I think the Wrath of Khan jacket is one of the coolest things I've ever seen, especially because I ski, and you can use all the pockets. <laughs> and, it, and, it looks pockets. Fa- and it looks fairly warm. It, it is, and it has a lot of extra add-ons, lots of hardware. It looks really cool. That's really, really cool. And um, oh, so, so all I have to do is come to your oh by the way you have a website for your, your simplicity.com all right so that was your name my name is Ginny hey well thanks for participating and and what do you think I you know, am I a Riker am I a Kirk am I a Spock what what I do think, you think look I think you should wear this next gen scan the, 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 the tunic man dress, yes. <laughs> the man dress I know I know that when the various actors talked about the costumes that they had to wear on the different either TV shows or films, they said they were always like pulling them down. So, which is the most comfortable? <laughs> I still think that dress is the most comfortable. All right, so there you go, uh, Richard Salmon with the next, the man dress, yep. the man dress. There you go, uh, from the Star Trek floor. You are listening to Taking Care of Business on eighty-eight point one WCWP, WCWP.org, and TCDRadio.com.